Grade 3 math, lesson 41, multiply by 9, and I've got some tricks for the 9 times table. When you multiply by 9, it's the same thing as adding a bunch of 9's together, just like the other times table. 9 times 5 means you got a 9 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times there are little dots of 9. If you added these five nines together, or did nine times five, you would get 45. It's the same thing. Like nine times two, that means you have two nines. One, two. Nine times two is 18. Same thing as nine plus nine. So when we look at the nine times table right here, our answers are nine times zero is zero, nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, 99, and 108 for 9 times 12. Now, do you see what I did along the side here? This is one of the tricks. The answers to the 9 times table equal 9 when you add the first and second digit together. Imagine there's a 0 in front of this 9, so it would be 0 plus 9 equals 9. 18 is a 1 and an 8. 1 plus 8 equals 9. 2 plus 7 equals 9, 3 plus 6, 4 plus 5, 5 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 0. Now, it doesn't work for 9 times 11 or 9 times 0. See, I got the little note down here. But even 9 times 12 is 108 is 1 plus 0 plus 8. That equals 9. Isn't that kind of a neat trick? So, here's my other trick for the 9 times table. You open your hands out completely, and it doesn't matter if you go this way or this way. I usually go this way with my thumbs out. You open your hands, and you count to the number you want to multiply by 9. So let's say we're going to do 9 times 6. You count those fingers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then this little pinky on the next hand would be the 6th finger, and you fold it down. The fingers that are up this hand is the tens, and this hand is the ones, and gives you the answer to the nine times table. So that's the sixth finger. How many fingers are up in the ten side? One, two, three, four, five. How many are up on the one side? Four. Nine times six is fifty-four. Let's try a different one. Nine times four. You go one, two, three, four. That's the one you fold down, is this one right here. That means there's three tens and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ones. 9 times 4 is 36. Isn't that a cool trick? So, let's look at skip counting by 9's. You would start with 0, and the very first number you would jump to is 9, then you would count 9 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 18 would be the next one, then count 9 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 27 would be the next one. That's a 2 and a 7. Now, when you look at the answers, have you noticed something else that's weird about the 9 times table? When you get to 9 times 2, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for 9 times 10. And then it goes backwards. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on the 1 side. So you can go all the way up. So if you know that 9 times 5 is 45, and there's a 4 in the tens place, then you know that 9 times 6 has to start with a 5. And if there's a 5 in the ones place for the one you know, then the next one's going to have to be a 4 because it goes down. This one goes up, that one goes down. That means the next one has to be a 6, and the next one has to be a 3 because it's going down, it's going up. See? It went up to 7, it went down to 2. It went up to 8, it went down to 1. So the 9 times table is a very, very easy times table to work with. Try to do your best to memorize it. should be pretty easy. And practice. Have someone quiz you. Sorry that it's getting out of focus. There we go. And the more you memorize it, the quicker you'll do your homework, the quicker you'll be able to figure out your paycheck or uh, things at work, and it'll help you in future math. See you next video.